also it's not just about your hands, it's also about your feet. So depending on how long your board is, whatever it's like 42, 39, whatever your board is, you want to try and keep your feet as wide as possible. And when your feet are wide as possible, you're going to get the best control over each truck. So with the best control over each truck, you want to take your back hand, for me since I'm left handed, I'm going to take my back hand and put it right behind my front foot and grab my board with my fingertips. And then with your opposite hand or your front hand, place it behind you. At least at least 18 inches from the back of your board or from the side of your board. So you want to try and get the most of your weight on your hand. That way you have less friction to the ground on your board so it has the ability to slide. So when you do that, kind of place your hand a little bit forward. So feet wide. Grab your board and place your hand out like this and kind of kick your back foot out. And it'll look a little something like this. said before on the first slide with the one hand on the board, one hand off, you want to try and get both hands off the board and put both weight or put the weight on both your hands. So same thing, keep your feet wide, except with this one, instead of trying to get your weight this way, you want to try and get it on the other side. But you, to do that, you can't just go here and try and push your feet out. It wouldn't work that way because you still got too much friction to the board to the ground. So what you want to try and do is think of dropping to the ground in a push-up position. So as you kind of get into the crouch position, feet wide on the, very, on the ends of your board, pick a spot about maybe three feet to four feet from the side of your board, and just lunge out. Just kind of lunge out like that. And then once you got most of your weight on your arms, because that's what naturally happens when you put yourself in that position, most of your weight is on your arms. And since most of the weight is on that side of the board, the board will just naturally have the tendency to just slide out. So when the board has that natural tendency, you keep all your weight on your hands, your board will, before you know it, as long as you're going fast enough, your board will start to just lose traction and just start sliding down. And it'll look a little something like this. not for bombing a hill or taking any kind of course, it's really just for fun. And so it's a little bit more relaxed of a slide too, but it's also the most dangerous of the three because if you mess up on your hands, you're going to have some pretty nasty face injuries or on your arm or something. So what you want to do is just kind of riding, cruising position, you know, whatever, how you feel on your board, whatever it is. And then you're going to take both feet bumped together, facing forward. So I'm going to put your front foot on first, back foot on them together at the very front of your board. Just kind of trying to keep your balance and just kind of throw yourself out. So when you're going, throw yourself out. Your hands are going to try and go sideways, like, like move out. So that's where you want to try and keep them together in front. So you can just slide on your pucks and just roll forward and then just pull your board up and just ride away.